Mesa County has a large homeless po teen population. 250 teens don't have a place to sleep, according to CARIS, an organization which oversees the house, which is a safe place for Western Slope teens. Now the organization is expanding its services with an upcoming housing facility. Carrie X5's Jillian McCarthy spoke to CARIS's community outreach specialist to see how a new apartment facility will benefit homeless youth. Meet Troy and Mackenzie. The street outreach employees for CARIS say no two days are the same at work, but their purpose is to connect individuals ages 13 to 24 with the services they need to be stable. It's not an easy task. It's very difficult to work with people on the streets or camping or somewhere um, to try to get them their basic needs. A lot of folks come to us without any ID paperwork, for example. But it's a rewarding one. You see their successes, you see their failures, um, and you're, you're kind of riding that way with them. Mackenzie visits schools to meet with counselors and administration to outreach for students who may be homeless. A lot of my youth, surprisingly, um, are staying with like friends or couch surfing, um, and so we're just trying to find ways to make that more sustainable. Troy spends most of his day helping teens with everything from legal work to finding housing. I get referrals from uh, defense attorneys and from the homeless shelters, and I meet with folks there all the time to try to connect them with services. Now the new 34-unit Caris Apartments will serve a huge need to homeless teens. A lot of these youth like have never had their own bedroom. They haven't had their own kitchen. They haven't had a place that was technically theirs. And the apartments will be unlike the other existing services Caris offers. We really haven't had a whole lot of resources in the Valley that provides such a wholesale all-round support system. The complex will include on-site access to mental health services and case management thanks to Mind Springs Health and Rocky Mountain Health Plans. Not only are we giving them that initial housing, but we're working with them and staying consistent with them to reach those further goals. First on the Western Slope, Jillian McCarthy, KREX5 News.